Anyway, what I wanted to expose, it's not even really exposed because I guess this is labels job. So I'm not even just trying to be like a hater, but Lil Baby's label, QC, again, I know it's their job. And the whole point of, of what a label does, or at least in like 360 deals and shit, is to promote the music for the first week, get it in people's catalog, so then because it's like a long tail. That's what streaming is for. Like, because they get paid every time somebody streams it. So get in as many people's liked songs as possible. That's why they do the playlisting. That's why there's oh, there's huge budgets at the beginning. Because yeah, they may spend like a million or two dollars on it. But over 10 years span, they're like a bank. Labels, as we always talk about. So they're banking that they'll make... Instead of the two, three mil, they'll make 10 mil off of it. With Lil Baby, they'll probably make more. Because he's basically like the go-to street rapper at this point who's like mainstream right he's the top he, he'll probably sell like 200k or maybe even more i don't know he got drake co-signed he's like the new future in the street trap side type of you know uh niche i want to say but as i was saying so a couple days ago this is before he was trending number one on YouTube with his song "Hey," which I did. I did check. You can go to um, let's see, explore. Let's do trending, trending music. He was number one trending with "Hey," and we know that because he posted on our generation rap and other pages. All these are paid. Okay, I'm not trying to expose people, but these are paid posts to make people be like oh shit like i haven't even heard about this hey song by little baby let me go check it out well it's trending on number one on youtube because a couple days ago and today youtube was priming maybe it was earlier today that i saw it i don't know youtube featured the content on the home page it was even in my subscriptions and i don't even listen to little baby like that so they're just forcing it down your throat no wonder look I, I, I scrolled to the right with the second feature content. It was next to BTS. So if Lil Baby, of course, if, if the music video is on the home page and, Lil, and YouTube is like partnered with them as the featured artist of the week, of course, it's going to be number one trending, bro. That shit ain't even impressive. Like young boy be doing that shit completely blackballed, as he says. So just get ready for this little baby album to be shoved down your fucking throat, bro. They're going to be deep throating the hell out of you. You can't do anything. You're going to strap your hands behind your back. I, but here's, here's where I think what's going to happen. It happens all the time with YouTube with the bigger artists. Yeah, sure. But where it gets corny to me at least, is when like they start utilizing it like that. It, it's almost like uh, what I was saying with Nav, where they're saying all these first week sales and it, they're just boosting it artificially so that they can use the numbers to then promote even further. It's like, no, if you're really like that guy, you're really that rapper who's killing it. You don't need to do this shit. Who really cares? Lil Baby by himself without all this help can still sell at least 150. I know these rappers are not selling all too well lately, but still. But I, I see the narrative shifting because he's become such a commercial artist that, of course, like, you know, he's, he's a household name at this point. I actually just watched the documentary. It was fire. I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was hating because I was like, I don't really like Lil Baby like that. But his story is cool. The narrative is shifting, I think, to the point where he's gotten so big that they're going to say that his flow, and they already have, his flow is getting repetitive, which I've been saying for the last two years, ever since like 2020. I don't get how people are like such big fans of Lil Baby. It's, it's mostly the lyrics probably, but, you know, I, I don't relate to that life. So I guess, you know, suburban Bob over here, that's probably the reason. So they're going to say his flows are getting, it's, it's like the Lil Uzi treatment. Once you get so high it's hard to keep that position so they're gonna say his flow sound the same and they're gonna start calling him mid i'm calling it it's gonna happen next couple next couple years bro he did the world cup song too yeah see he, he's about to be like he's about to be the next drake basically I, I don't think to the same level because he's just not a singer like that but he does have songs that are getting big big numbers personally i don't 
I didn't like Detox. I thought it was actually pretty trash for a little baby song. Usually he's like pretty consistent. I'm not the biggest fan because a lot of his songs sound the same to me, to me. But that Detox song, like normally it's, um, normally it's listenable. But to me, that song was like, bro, just turn that shit off. But let's check out the the Hey Music video. Let me get like a little review. I just want to see how if it gets me gets me going it's not bad per se but it's just me like this does not sound that crazy like i will not remember this song ever in my entire life not once and i understand i heard some of the lyrics they were actually pretty real but i'm not the type of person who has friends who are you know looking in the streets to kill for money or to get back at people that's just i can't relate bro maybe in call, call of duty lobbies or some shit but no that, that did not happen where i lived but maybe it'll grow on me <laughs> it's just not just just not it doesn't do anything for me but again music is so subjective that it's all opinion based for some reason the mass audience of hip-hop fucking loves Lil Baby, and he just screams, uh, streams out the wazoo on these playlists. You know that Rap Caviar is literally going to post his fucking dick on the cover uh, whenever the album drops, maybe even today. Let's check that shit. How so this is what Tory Lanez was talking about with how when you're signed to a major label, you get these perks. Pause. Perks is in a pause moment, but you get the, he get the perk he get the perks. Um, Migos is on Rap Caviar currently, but you get the point. He's definitely going to be on there. I've never been a baby fan. No, yeah, I, I just think that it's manufactured like the whole marketing scheme at this point. And look, here's just a conspiracy theory. I'm just gonna assume that you know streets the streets less educated this might sound terrible might sound illogical you tell me less educated potentially more easily accessible or manipulated by the media meaning that the marketing scheme does not have to be overly complicated it can literally just be let's put him on the face of youtube it does not matter if it looks like it's planted and it's a garden on the, the YouTube homepage. They just watering the shit out of little baby, but that'll get him fans. As opposed to like, I don't, personally, I don't like this marketing scheme where it's planted because I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm too intelligent, but I can see through it. I'm like, I know what you're doing. Baby was dropping heat 2017 to 2020. I did like some of Lil Baby's older shit. I ain't gonna lie, but I just feel like he's made the same song over and over. Once you get to a certain level, everything is planned to the T, so shit not gonna sound organic. You know what, unpublicized, that's a good point. I feel like you're too big to fail. And by too big to fail, I don't mean you can't fail. I mean, they literally cannot let you fail or else it's good. Like the, the stakes are too high at that point. You, If you flop, like it's what happened to baby. He went from like selling over 100K, right? And then all of a sudden this album, he's, he, what'd he sell? Like 15K, 17K, he got outsold by underground gods. Lucky and even Kid Cudi, Lucky outsold Kid Cudi. That was another fall off. So yeah, once you're that big, it's almost like better as a marketing plan maybe. So I'm t I don't take my, I don't take back what I said. I still think it's weird. But yeah, it's better to look inorganic than to fall off. So I'll give you that. That was a good point.